Hi, what are the common roadblocks, issues, challenges you face when you are doing a Lean Six Sigma project or implementing Lean Six Sigma in your organization? This is super duper important question. Why? Because interviewer would like to know whether you have really done some project or you are maybe cooking up some story. As you know, apart from NIQC, almost none of the institution will give you opportunity to do Six Sigma project in Six Sigma Black Bear journey. Right? Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to explain what are the common roadblocks you face and what are the possible solutions that you can give. Welcome back in my channel. My name is Dhirendra. I'm a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt. Now, first thing is when you are trying to do a project, you need data because for God we trust, but for everything else, we need data, correct? So, if I talk about the recent COVID situation everywhere, right? Um, so you would have seen some cases or some news wherein government wanted to see what is the bed occupancy or how many oxygen cylinders are you know, uh, consumed by the hospitals and so on. And there was no data. So data availability is one of the common issue around us or any kind of corporate. This is one problem. Let's suppose this problem is not there and you still have the data. Second situation can be data manipulation or maybe somebody will try to cook the data. So when I say data cooking, I'm not literally uh, trying to say, you know, cooking a price or something like that. So when I say cooking uh, data is all about when management will try to manipulate, add it some special, maybe, you know, remove some special cause and give you the, you know, purified data. Uh, regarding the COVID situation, you would have seen there were a few hospitals, they were trying to show bed occupancies, 100% where they were calling daily wages people in hospital, paying them some money so that, you know, they can back it as and when they find some rich person and make some money. So that is called data manipulation example, right? This is based on the news I have seen. So that's second thing. Now, let's say you are lucky enough, you, you don't have these problems. Good luck. Let's go to the next step. Third problem is you need senior management support. So when I say senior management support, I'm talking about the leadership. Now, leadership needs some kind of motivation again, because you cannot give, again, when I say motivation, you need to give banana to monkey and carrot to rabbit. Don't give banana to rabbit and carrot to monkey, right? That will be again confusing. So when I give this example, I'm trying to tell you that you need to understand what your senior management or stakeholders are looking at. Maybe your strategy is, your organization strategy is all about expansion or maybe customer satisfaction, or it can be around, you know, increasing revenue, cost reduction. I don't know. You need to go and figure out that. And you need to make sure your Six Sigma, your plan, your training, everything is aligned to the strategy, right? Next thing. Now, let's say your senior management is also helping. They are giving you endorsement. Wow. Fourth step is you need driver. When I say a driver, I'm trying to say black belt, right? So as a black belt, there are two things which we generally need to have knowledge and passion. When I say knowledge, now the challenge here is you would have seen many black belt. I have interviewed many black belt. They would not be able to explain even a business case when I was managing and heading quality. They were not able to make even project charter. They would have completed one or two days training, maybe watching some recorded session and got some you know, certification. Knowledge is really, really important. If you don't have the knowledge, you would not be able to implement Six Sigma and finally organization will think Six Sigma doesn't work. That's not the case, right? If you have the right knowledge, you'll be able to implement. So you need a driver knowledge at the same time, passion as well. So when I say passion, many black belt are not passionate enough. They just want to complete six, seven projects in a year and that's it. Okay. How do you see that? Because, you know, black belt will have a lot of data analysis and all these. It's difficult sometimes to monitor them. But if they are not passionate, they cannot be innovative, they cannot be creative. And you know that for deploying a solution, identifying a problem, you really need innovative, passionate person who can get the solution. Now, let's say you are lucky enough, you got all these things. Let me repeat what I said. You have the data, 
your data is accurate, you have senior management support, you have a good driver, a black belt who has a knowledge, and you have a black belt who has, uh, you know, a lot of passion to drive it. Now you need team as well, right? You need other people like supporting who is giving you data, like uh, mentors or maybe team member, not mentor precisely, team member will go and collect the data. What happens is other department people or maybe team members, they are not motivated. Then what? Why they're not motivated enough? Because sometimes what happens is they feel that what's in it for me? Obviously, motivation again. Think about monkey and that example there. Okay, so find out what is the right level of motivation required. I used to one thing, I used to write uh, they and M, you know, in a project charter and uh, they were like a team member or maybe a co-lead or something like that so they also feel that it's their project and they are getting awarded now once that happened they kind of own the responsibility of doing a project with you and they are with you that's a great thing for you now let's say they are also with you what are the other issues can happen right now another challenge that happened is you do not, if you do not have a Six Sigma governing body or a structure kind of. So when I say structure, many organizations, they will just hire one or two black belt and assuming that maybe one black belt can help entire organization to show the improvement, which is incorrect. You need a dedicated governing structure. You need a team. You need a champion, mentor, sponsor, supporter, MBBs and so on. But if you don't have that can create another problem. Because remember, if you have, let's say, one person who's a, you know, who's trying to control the fire in the entire building, and he just have one bucket of water, he cannot do. He need a team. He need equipment. He need everything. Right? That's another challenge. Once that is there, last, but I would say, uh, very very important, clarity of role and responsibility. So when I say clarity of a role and responsibility, now mentor would not know what he has to do what team leader has to do, I mean project leader, what team member will have to do, that can again create a problem and can lead to a failure as well, right? So now these are a couple of roadblocks which I see. Apart from that, when you talk about a team member, please make sure you do not select the wrong team member. This I have covered in my previous video as well, that often we get someone who may not be a good performer and super performer for the you know business, and uh, you will have to, uh, you know, do project with that. So please understand that a person, when you are taking him in a project team, you interview him really well, All right? And once you interview, you also check the historical performance. He should not be just coming for maybe spending time and saying that my name is also there in a project and that's it. So these are around 10 roadblocks which I have told you. Let's repeat all once again. First, data availability. Second, Data accuracy. Third, again, you need senior management support. Fourth, you need a driver who is, uh, you know, kind of skilled. Fifth, he should be passionate. Sixth, I would say the other department who are giving you data. Seventh, you need a good team member. Uh, eighth, I would say, of course, um, you know, when you're selecting team member, it should not be wrong. The right team member should be there. And next two is all about you need to have a Six Sigma governing body. And last one is clarity of food and responsibility. So please make sure that you do not face these challenges. If these are the issues, you should have some backup or solution. Let me know in case you face some other challenge in your organization so that I can give you the right solution accordingly. And I'm sure you would have already watched my previous video wherein I have explained what are the role and responsibility of different levels and especially different members in team so that there is a clarity, right? All right. Thank you so much. That's it for this video. And I'll catch you again and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Signing off. Bye-bye.